What's up, fam? How y'all doing? Y'all know this is the E. My baby brother finally let me get my own little show. You know what I mean? Throw up on this thing. But I got some stipulations. Things I can do. So I can't make no profanity come out of my mouth. I can't say no obscene gestures. So the only thing you're going to get is my thoughts and my opinions of anything I say. None of my things that I'm going to say here has been a proven fact because they're only opinion about certain topics and certain situations. But this one, I want to talk about relationships and what motivates people towards certain relationships and certain people that they deal with on a personal level. Personally, my motivation towards it, I'm money motivated. You know what I mean? You got a lot of people out here who sexually motivated, but they that's for the wrong reasons. Because that's what fail. You know what I mean? If you got money, everything in your relationship is going to work. Everything is going to go smooth because you got, you're got financially stable to deal with any financial situation that comes up. And I always learned that when you got money, you're happy. You know what I mean? Whether it's greed, whether it's for pleasure, whether it's for bills, you're still happy because everything is taken care of. But you got people out here who's just motivated by sex to make their relationship work. That ain't happening, bro. That's really, that's really not going to happen. If your main goal is to go in here and sleep with this girl, sleep with that girl, do this, do that, then your, your relationship's going to fail every time if you're trying to get a serious relationship. But you got to be mindful in what you say and what you do to another person because they may get a Mr. Screw. They may think you're saying something different. So me personally, I give I give the spiel from day one. I let them know the bad, I let them know the good. Whether you want to go on after that situation, after you hear that, it's totally up to you. You made a choice. I ain't forcing you to nothing. You know what I mean? So anybody get you in a situation and say, you did this to me, you did that to me, no, I did not. You know why? If you up front and honest at the beginning, shit, they can never say that because you gave them the speech. If you're a bank robber, you already told them. So they can't be bad if you run around and rob a bank while they're in the car. You know what I mean? You can't be bad, so I already told them. Situations like that. But if your mindset is just to sleep with this person, see where it goes, it ain't going nowhere. Been there, done that. I got 10 kids. Feel what I'm saying? I just dealt with all kind of women across from here to the West Coast. So there's no situation or anything a woman can come to me and fool me, surprise me. Ain't none of that going to happen. So my thoughts on that is always be mindful. When you meet somebody and you want to feel them and see where they're coming from, tell them the truth. Even the people you ain't trying to deal with. So they can never ever say you didn't tell them. Like my trust issue. I got deep trust issues. Real deep trust issues. So, if I'm honest with that, everybody I deal with, I tell them. I get the same spiel since I was 15 years old. I'm going to tell you what's happening. You don't like it? Walk well, on. If you do, we good. Other than that, that's my, that's my advice to anybody trying to do anything. Even if you're just trying to get the draw. Keep it up. Keep it 100. Because they can never come back and say, you didn't tell me. I didn't know. You changed. No, I didn't change. I'm the same person. Whether I'm mad or I'm in a happy mood, I'm the same person. My mom always told me, if you change, that means you're fake. I ain't trying to be fake, you feel me? I got my flaws and things I do, whoop, whoop. But other than that, I ain't trying to be fake with you. And people out here running around and talking, uh, this and that, you lie to me, you lie to me. <sighs> look, to the relationship people, look, Sean, if I lie to you, it's to protect you. If I lie to you, that means you lie to me. That's, you know what I mean? So you're in a relationship, so I tell women from the day one, you lie to me, I'm going to lie to you forever. That ain't fair, that's, that's such, let me tell you something. In my relationship, me personally, and I give this to all men, the final decision should go through you. You listen to you, you listen to your woman, you may listen to the kid, whatever, whatever. But the final decision should be yours as a man. Head of the household, king. But you got women out there who want to be, uh, excuse me, the vagina and the penis. You can't do that, mom. If you've been in a relationship, been around yourself for a long, long time, don't drag nobody else into that mystery. Don't jump into a relationship you really not real. You know what I'm saying? Because you mis misleading mis mis other people to think something will happen or not. So therefore, if we go in a relationship and that's your mind motivation, going into the relationship, I got a right to change. I'm not going to be the same person who made you breakfast in bed and you don't deserve that. You know what I'm saying? And same thing for women. You feel that about your man. But other than that, Charlie, if you change, I'm going to change. But I ain't never going to change back. It takes a, it takes a lot of drive and, and, and ambition to make me change back. Because once I got a mindset, I'm going with it. Like, so you say, you want to break up? Guess what? First thing I'm going to do, I'm single on Facebook. 
So this is just the first episode of my thoughts and my opinions. Y'all holler at your boy. It's Fat Man Inc. We gone. Every time we gone. Peace.